Keeping it local tonight, a community is still coming to grips with the loss of a woman who left a lasting impression on those around her. You might remember the domestic abuse death of Annie Ford one year ago in Appleton. And now her loved ones reflect on a life cut short. Local 5's John Donald talked to a family that's still struggling to fill the hole she left in their lives. Forgive, but don't forget. That seems to be the unspoken slogan of those blessed enough to have known Annie Ford. And now, those still clinging to her memory held a breakfast in honor of her passing. She was one of four sisters and helped create faith where there was none. We always hung together. If you saw me, you saw her. She gave a lot away. The most important, she gave her heart to others. The case served as a domestic abuse wake-up call. When little things are brushed under the rug or, or aren't made a big deal of, the next time they come through, it may be a little bit more violent, next time maybe a little bit more, and the escalation is where it really becomes dangerous. We can sometimes be all that stands between bad and worse. The biggest thing is to reach out to friends and family. Sometimes the, the victims of domestic violence don't recognize the true danger that they're in. Even though justice has yet to be fully served in the case, Annie's sister is confident she's at peace. She's looking down on us. She's happy now. She's smiling. You know. But she needs to stay out my dreams. <laughs> Reporting in Appleton, John Dommel, Local 5 News. Thank you, John. 58-year-old Johnny Scott is charged with her murder and could face life in prison if convicted.